Come back with me to the year 1974. I was a co-op student at the Patuxent River Naval Air Station. I lived in the barracks right on base. This particular evening, I'm sitting on my cot in my room, looking at a small electric hot plate and pot. I am about to cook my first meal away from home. Macaroni and cheese. And I'm about to learn my first lesson about cooking. Pasta expands in water. <laughs> if the instructions say to boil six cups of water, do not think you can do that in a pot that only holds two cups. <laughs> Let's fast forward now. It's the fall of 2010. After 55 years of being cooking challenged, I said to my mom, Mom, teach me how to cook. <laughs> my mom gave me a chicken recipe that has changed my life. She takes this piece of chicken, she puts it on the counter, and starts to whack at it with a hammer. Mom, what are you doing? I am tenderizing the chicken. <laughs> but, but Mom, you're whacking it with a hammer. I know. This is how you tenderize meat. It suddenly dawned on me what I've been missing all these years. Nobody ever told me you could cook with tools. <laughs> I am a changed man. And to prove it to you, I'm going to prepare that recipe for you tonight. This recipe, I call it carpenter's chicken. And just like mom, we're going to tenderize the chicken. Now, the, we'll grab the chicken here. this chicken. Now when you're dealing with food for hygienic reasons, it's a good idea to wear gloves. <laughs> now, the chicken does get a bit slippery, so I like to use nails to hold it down. using breast of chicken. <laughs> it is possible to do this with a whole chicken, but then you gotta remove all the bones. <laughs> it's a good idea to wear a hairnet. <laughs> right here, chicken's looking about like roadkill. We're going to go and prepare the topping. Get yourself a, a good mixing bowl. <laughs> and this recipe, or I like to call it a blueprint, calls for one cup of breadcrumbs. So I get my cup, and I get my breadcrumbs, and we'll put in one cup of breadcrumbs. Now, by the way, if you're running low on breadcrumbs, a great place to find extra breadcrumbs is that little tray that fits underneath your toaster. <laughs> Next, the blueprint calls for a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Well, the way I figure it, my cup is four inches. Half of that would be two inches. So we'll get two inches of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Blueprint calls for some accent. 10 millimeters of accent. <laughs> so I grab my quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, and we'll give 10 millimeters of accent. Next, we're going to add a little salt. So I go out back and I grab the salt block off the tree, and we'll give it up. A couple of strokes. <laughs> Finally, we want to pick up a spice at H and B. I don't know something called thyme leaves. <laughs> we'll sprinkle in some of those. We're gonna mix it up really good, and then we're gonna coat the chicken. So we just drop it right in there. <laughs> we're gonna cook the chicken at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. 
We'll go ahead and we'll put it on a piece of aluminum foil. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but it really burns me up when food sticks to the aluminum foil. I got a solution to that. WD-40. <laughs> Slide that in the oven. When it comes out of the oven, it slides right off that aluminum bar. Now, I would recommend potatoes to complement the chicken dish. I love boiled potatoes. But peeling those potatoes, what a pain. Not with tools. I find if I use a drill and a half inch drill bit, I can peel a potato faster than I can burn an apple off of a pot. I find that uh, the best trick for this is to use a quarter inch wood chisel. And also I highly recommend for this particular step, you wear goggles. <laughs> Sergeant Arms, we have plastic for the people down here in the front. Well, I'll have to do that later. I never realized how much fun it was to cook with tools. Matter of fact, after 35 years working for IBM, I'm thinking about quitting. I'm thinking about opening up a restaurant. A combination auto shop restaurant. I'll call it the auto diner. You can come in and get your oil changed and grab a bite to eat. And while you're sitting there eating, you can watch me tenderize a hot dog. Or better yet, caramelize my cream belay with a settling torch. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am a new man now that I learned to cook with tools. Madam Toastmaster.